In this video, I am going to rank the different major cities in the Stanton system for today and into 3.18. Now, whether you are just starting out your journey in Star Citizen or a veteran, I am going to rank the cities from most practical to least while considering different playstyles and preferred game loops. My approach to this video is that I will compare each city side by side according to different key convenience categories. This is all based on what is available today in 3.17 and going forward into 3.18. Now for a quick disclaimer. All of these things are in flux as Star Citizen is in alpha phase. This means that things can and probably will change in some manner or another. Now I value your time, so let's begin. So here is this video's table of contents. I'll briefly explain what the four major cities are for the newest players out there. I will then explain what they currently offer and what the future may potentially hold. I will then share my ranking criteria and follow that up with my breakdown and comparison of each city and why one might be better than another. I will finish this with my final thoughts. So let's not waste a single minute and begin right now. In Star Citizen, we have the four major cities of the Stanton system, with more coming alongside new systems that are planned in the future. These are places where you can begin your journey or simply travel to that provide a vast amount of amenities that you can leverage or utilize in the game. Things like food, clothing, lodging, gear, ship rentals, and components, just to name a few. Right now, many things that are planned to be added to cities are yet to be added, but CIG is currently in the process of doing just that. In the future, we should be able to expect to do a whole lot more than what is currently available today. The Stanton system has six major landing zones, four of which are cities. Orison, the city in the clouds, located in Crusader. Area 18, the planet covered in skyscrapers, located on the planet Arcorp. New Babbage, Star Citizen's interpretation of Hoth from Star Wars, <laughs> located on Microtech. Finally, Lorville, the oppressive city located on Hurston. Now in regard to Lorville, CIG is expanding the size by nearly double and we should see the new and improved city a little further beyond 3.18. Now there will be more to come in the future, but for now and into 3.18, these are the options you have to choose from. So now that you know what landing zones exist, it's time to discuss what each of them offer. Even today, each city is not created equal in regard to their utility to us players. Some cities offer better or more amenities and or conveniences depending on how you play and what you prefer to do in the game. For example, being a criminal around the Crusader area is a tad easier than it might be in the other systems simply due to the proximity to safe havens like Grim Hex. If you are a miner who prefers to mine Quantanium on the other hand, then you will likely experience the most conveniences in areas like Arc Corp or Crusader. For the most part, all four cities offer similar conveniences like hospital access to give an example, but there are quite a few important differences and details that you may not be immediately aware of and will want to know. So, for ranking these locations, we will use the following system as shown on your screen. We will go down the line of categories, comparing each city against one another. We will score them accordingly with points ranging from 0 to 4, the higher they rank for each category and feature. So for example, when evaluating personal armor, we will score each city based on the local availability and number of options they provide in that regard. The higher the score, the better. The same logic will be applied to each following category, finishing up with the final scoring. So let's begin the comparison breakdown. For this section of the video and for your convenience, I will try to go as quickly and efficiently as possible through each topic. Let's start with the amenities. 
For food amenities, New Babbage and Orison lead the way with the sheer amount of options available and the fact that they offer them at more than one location. Area 18 comes in next with their currently limited options at the Spaceport or the coffee vendor, and very limited options at the Arcor Plaza. Now, I personally believe there will be more options available in the future at some point at the Arcor Plaza, given there are vendors present on the streets where you cannot yet purchase food. Now, Lorville comes in dead last here with their laughable options, which are only available at Tammany and Sons. Now, these options, a word I am using reluctantly as possible, consist of maybe one drink option and two food options. Yeah, it's a bit oppressive out there in Lorville. For now, civilian clothing is sitting on the back burner of importance, but that will eventually change, though not yet in 3.18. In the future, it is said that you will have to remove your armor and flight suit when entering cities or certain cities and landing zones. I think that will pave the way for a bigger focus on your own personal clothing style and expression in Star Citizen. But for now, it's on the back burner. Overall, you will get a fairly even amount of options regardless of the city or planetary system you call home. For this ranking, I consider each city and landing zone to be considered equal for now with a reasonable amount of options available at or in the general planetary local areas. Now, armor carries a whole lot more importance as far as what you can do today in the game. And for this, I am ranking just the local city, not the surrounding areas. Area 18 leads the way here as the sheer amount of options available at Cubby Blast has me ranking it as the best. Orison comes in second with their limited options spread across three different stores. Kelto, Kovalex Shipping, and Providence Surplus. Lorville comes in third place with a decent amount of options at Tammany and Sons, while New Babbage closes the ranking out in last place with very limited options at Shubin Interstellar. Now, similar to armor, weapons are also important when starting your journey in Star Citizen. Again, each landing zone is not created equal. Here is my ranking. Area 18 comes in at first place once again with Cubby Blast leading the way in options, and it's super conveniently close, as in right at the front door of your Habs. However, there is also more options available at Center Mass in the IO North Tower. New Babbage comes in second with Center Mass providing a decent set of options. Orison comes in third with two personal weapon options only available at Kelto. Lorville closes the ranked list out with zero personal weapon options available. Now, did I say Lorville was a bit oppressive? <laughs> Good grief. Ship components is an interesting ranking because there is a distinction between the best options and the most options. Leading the way in my ranking is Orison due to the one and only Cousin Crows. This shop has some best of the best options when choosing to modify your ship. I will be ranking New Babbage as number two here as they have three stores that offer different options. You can upgrade ship weapons at Center Mass, ship components at Omega Pro, and you can stop by Shubin Interstellar for mining equipment. Area 18 has a Center Mass store and Dumper's Depot shop for a mix of weapons and components respectively. Finally, we have Loreville with just weapon upgrade options at the Hurston Dynamics Showcase. In Lore, Hurston Dynamics is a well-respected weapons manufacturer, so Loreville shouldn't be viewed as the worst location for weapon upgrade quality, but definitely in limited options available and convenience. When it comes to your options of renting and purchasing ships, no landing zone or city does it better than Loreville. Finally, a top spot for Loreville. <laughs> <laughs> New Deal offers 73 ship purchasing options of your choosing, while offering 11 rental options at the Vantage Rental Shop. Not to be outdone comes Area 18 with their Astro Armada store offering 41 ship purchasing options. Also, Area 18 has a Traveler's Rentals, which provides 10 ship rental options. Orison holds third place as they have the Crusader dealership. It's important to know that you cannot purchase ships from other manufacturers here, so your options are effectively limited. Orison also has a Traveler's Rentals for renting ships. 
New Babbage holds the last place with only rental options from Regal Luxury Rentals. This location does not have a dealership where you can purchase ships. For vehicle garage access, this will be a very important factor for those of you who do rock mining, vehicle racing, or the higher tiered bunker missions, just to name a few things. Until CIG adds the option to spawn vehicles inside of ships, this will continue to be a big consideration in my opinion. Now let's rank the cities. New Babbage is currently my top choice here as the vehicle garage is located at and directly below the spaceport. You also have an additional vehicle garage at the commons. This gives you plenty of options and convenience when deciding how you wish to load vehicles into your ships right at your home city. Coming in second is Lorville. However, the reason I rank it as number two is because you have to do quite a bit more traveling just to get to the vehicle garage, which in this case is located at the perimeter gates of the city. Now this becomes more cumbersome because you have to first get your ship and then travel to the vehicle garage at the perimeter gates, which prevent you from getting too close due to the proximity warnings when flying near the city. Again, me and long running sentences. I promise I'm working on that. <laughs> Now, I want to add a caveat here because CIG is revamping Lorville as mentioned earlier, and I'm not sure if they will change this in any way. If they do, I can see them making this more convenient. So keep an eye out for these upcoming changes as they can significantly improve the case for Lorville. Now, Orison and Area 18 do not rank because they have zero vehicle garages for obvious reasons. One is a city in the clouds and the other is a city covered in skyscrapers. I do not know if this will change at some point, but for now, there are no options to pull out vehicles at these cities. Now let's talk a bit about profession convenience when it comes to these cities and pretty much the planetary system surrounding it. If you are into Quantanium mining, then you might find it best to start around Crusader or Arcor. Crusader has an easy and fairly short path to the Aaron Halo, which has a good amount of Quantanium asteroids while the moon Lyria in the Arcorp area tends to have rich deposits of quantanium rocks on its surface. It's not that you cannot find quantanium elsewhere or other lucrative ore, it's just that these are the most profitable tried and true locations for it. If you are into rock mining, then these places are also good, but I would also mention that Lorville is not a bad option for that type of mining. Hand mining can be done just about anywhere profitably. Bounty hunting is another profession that I have found to be more convenient when starting in some planetary areas compared to others. Person, in my experience, is a great place for bounty hunting. You might also find that Crusader is a convenient place as many bounties tend to show up in these areas more often. So this is more due to my personal experience and yours and others might vary. So here's my ranking and let me know if you disagree below in the comment section. For local activities, all cities in their surrounding areas have bunker missions, bounty and mercenary missions, cargo hauling opportunities, and delivery missions, just to name a few. However, in the current build of the game, and for what is coming in 3.18, some areas will offer some unique experiences, missions, and maybe explorative opportunities. Orison is getting new missions on some new platforms. These will be new FPS missions hearkening back to the Siege of Orison experience. Orison will also be getting the first iteration of the PTV racing track. If local activities is your thing, then Orison is making a great case for starting your journey there in 3.18. Microtech will be getting new racing missions and areas on its surface. Microtech already has the most recent edition of derelict outpost missions and rivers. It's worth noting there will be even more rivers added to Microtech in 3.18. Area 18 will be getting new racing missions and locations. And finally, Hurston is getting new rivers. Hurston is also getting expanded to nearly twice its size very soon, as we discussed earlier, though this is not quite the case for 3.18, at least the last that I've heard. As far as prominent mission givers go, you still have the current lineup of Rudo and Wallace Clem on Grimhex in the Crusader area, Clovis Darnelli, Miles Eckhart, and Constantine Hurston on Lorville, 
Tisha Twitch Pacheco on Area 18 in the Arcorp area, and at this time, there are no mission givers on or near New Babbage Microtech. But the expectation is that they will be coming in the future. So here is a final score for each city. Orison takes the top spot with 27 points. New Babbage and Area 18 are tied with 24 points, while Lorville comes in last with 19. Now the great news is that the Stanton system is nowhere near finished, so I can see many improvements coming to each of these cities which could easily shake up this list in the future. So for me, I will be starting my 3.18 journey on New Babbage, but I will be making a beeline for Orison to experience the new missions and then move around the system to check out all the new features of 3.18 that are location based. So please let me know which location you are choosing and why in the comments section below. So I hope this video was helpful, and if so, please let me know with a like and subscribe if you so choose. If I missed anything, or if you have some alternate ideas or thoughts, please feel free to share those with me and others as well in the comment section below. I have another video on screen that you might enjoy, and with that, I will see you in the next video.